Why have the nations been restless? Why will the people scheme in futility? The kings of the earth resist, and the dignitaries conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, We will tear the restraints on us apart. We will throw off their control. Sitting in the heavens, the Lord laughs and is at his ease. He's not bothered by them, though he is not amused with them either. For he holds their thoughts in disdain, and, well, he will speak to them in his anger, and in a burning anger, he will terrify them by saying, I have consecrated my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Now I will tell you the decree of the Lord. He He said said to me, You are my son. Today I have brought you forth. Ask of me, and I will give you these nations as an inheritance, and for your possession the very ends of the earth. And you will smash your enemies, well, as with a rod of iron you would smash the clay vessels of a potter. And now, O kings, act prudently. Allow yourselves to be instructed, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with reverence, and rejoice with trembling. Pay homage to the Son, and acknowledge Him as King. Otherwise, the Lord will become angry. Or, if you stray from the way of the righteous, His anger will soon burn. Happy are they who seek refuge in Him. Thank you.